Today we're checking out a new guitar from Martin. It's a big old grand jumbo 12 string and you're gonna like the way it sounds. I guarantee it. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? This is Cooper Greenberg over here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Click the links below for our Teespring store. Got a bunch of cool new t-shirts. And uh, if you're interested, become an insider if you haven't already on Patreon. So like I said, today we're checking out the Grand J16E 12 string. Kind of a mouthful, a lot of words, but this is a lot of guitar. It's a very new introduction from Martin, and it's cool. I mean, in the past, you know, I think there's like a D35 12 string. Maybe it's the David Gilmour one that they have in the production line. But it's cool to have something kind of a little different, big old jumbo body style. Um, you know, I guess technically the M36 is a jumbo guitar, but that's a six string, and it's a very different type of jumbo than this is. Um, this is a whole different body style. It's massive, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, um, but the upper bout, you know, it's about the size of, of my upper bout, um, or, you know, body style's my upper bout, whatever. You get what I'm saying, it's a big old guitar. Um, however, this is triple O depth, which is pretty interesting choice to make. Typically, you know, you think about big old jumbo like an SJ200 or something, it's very wide, thick, deep body. Um, and this one has all of the area but it's it's much more narrow so it doesn't really make it that hard to kind of grab and play and hold especially when sitting down um, and it's cool like i said it's a j16e so it does have electronics got a fishman in here um, sounds really nice we're going to be playing it through just acoustic and microphone just so you can pick up as many of those kind of room overtones and nice reverb and everything but it is a great pickup and um you know it's Part of the 1617 series is how they kind of denote it on the website. Obviously, it's a 16, so 16 series. Got a gloss Sitka spruce top and a satin East Indian rosewood back and sides. Really nice binding and uh, just kind of, you know, very aesthetically pleasing guitar. Exactly what you kind of want when you think about huge jumbo 12 string, big sound. Um, I think it looks the part. I think it sounds the part. So I'm just going to play a couple things on here, um, some chords and something nice and strummy, and then try to get kind of bluesy. Because um, my personal favorite 12 string stuff, think about like Life by the Drop, Stevie Ray, and some of those old Jimi Hendrix videos where he's playing Hear My Train Come and all that kind of stuff. I think these fit really well with sort of blues style. It doesn't always just have to be big Pink Floyd chords, but that kind of stuff works on a great too. So check it out. Take a listen, and then we'll wrap up with my thoughts on this one.
There you have it, you guys. The Grand Jumbo 16E 12 string from Martin. Brand new guitar. Um, we just got this one in the store and I really enjoy it. I think when it comes to 12 strings, maybe the trend right now is to sort of move away from big, large, massive 12 strings. Looking at you, Taylor, you know, there's a few different 12 fret, 12 string models um, out there and Taylor is sort of bringing the 12 string to a smaller body, way more, you know, just, I, I don't know. It's, it's just an interesting move to take a huge sound and give it to a compact body shape, which I think is kind of cool. However, something like this, I feel like just takes everything and pushes it to the max, which is a really cool kind of almost now counterculture to that Taylor 12 string style. Um, obviously, you know, there's a reason why everything's a little bit bigger on a 12 string. There's a wider nut, it's a one and 13 sixteenths. So a little bit over, you know, three quarters, one and three quarters. Um, you can really feel it and the action, this is set up really nice to where it's very easy to push the strings down. Sometimes 12 strings kind of turn me off because it's just a little harder to play. It's not very comfortable. Um, and given this is a huge body, um, much wider nut width, it still feels very comfortable to play, which I think is kind of a nice little delicate balance that they're finding here. Um, and the wood pairings, you know, spruce and rosewood, it's gonna have all that bass and treble kind of nice pushed, everything that you kind of want from the classic Martin. But it's a little, you know, narrow. I, I don't know if that's the right word. The depth is not pushing this over the top to where it's really overpowering. I still think all of this, you know, chimey tones that you want are getting pushed forward. Everything's melding together really nice. And I think the intonation is really great too. I think that's kind of the tough thing that some people have a struggle with. Hence, you know, doing Nashville tuning and doubling guitars to get the 12 string sound because the tuning's not always there. But I think this one really handles that nicely. Um, nice to have the pickup. And it's really nice for, say, a collector that you've already got some different stuff in the mix. You've got plenty of six strings. And this is a great 12 string to kind of add to the collection. Uh, it's just a great guitar. And I would recommend that you, if you can, put your hands on it because it looks huge. It was intimidating to me because I thought it was going to be kind of me fighting against this guitar. But it's very nice. And so if you want to learn more about it, go to almomusic.com, check it out. I think these go for right over 2000 right now, which might seem like a lot. It's not a totally affordable guitar. Like I said, it's a great collector guitar. Um, but most of the time when you get a 12 string, you might be encountering something that's, you know, maybe on the entry level, the wood pairings aren't there, um, or, you know, some of them go for way more than this. Like I said, some of Taylor's 12 strings. Um, so this is kind of a nice middle of the road when you think about it at this price point. Um, really, really nice guitar. I think it sounds great. Learn about it on the website. You can chat with us on there, give us a call. And if you're in the area, please come by and check this thing out because uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, like I said, you know, please subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. We're getting there fast, and that's because of you guys, we really appreciate you guys watching and all your support on Patreon, all of our social media on, on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So keep playing. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>